Hello everybody, this is Gwyneth Isaacs speaking here. I'm just making this video today to wish you all a very, very happy new year. It's 2020! Yay! That name of course means uh, like perfect vision. And as a psychic that's something I'm very, very interested in. But yeah, I'm just sort of, um, what have we been doing? Well, my son and I, we had a bit of a, um, you know, New Year's party last night and shared some grape juice and, um, you know, because not alcoholic. Um, yeah, because he's, he's 16, so he had to be non-alcoholic. But yeah, we, we had a good time. We had a lovely time. And, um, but yeah, I've just been watching, uh, you know, a bunch of YouTube videos today. Jeff Barrick, oh my gosh, Jeff Barrick went to uh, the United States for about 24 hours and succeeded in getting himself uh, robbed on Bourbon Street in New Orleans and then was refused admission to his flight because his breath smelt of alcohol because it had two or three glasses of wine. You're kidding me. So they sell wine in the airport lounge and then they stop people from getting on the plane if their breath smells like wine. What planet are, are, are these people living on? Now if you don't want people to drink wine before, you, before they get on the plane, don't serve wine at the airport lounge. So that's simple enough for me. Anyway, you know, it's going to be a really, really, I think, interesting year will be the most demo democrat diplomatic thing to say about this coming year. It's, um, I think every man and his dog can see there's trouble coming down the track. Big trouble. We didn't make the trouble. We just don't want to be slaves. We just don't want to be um, imprisoned and having people tell us how to wipe our bums. You know? And the the, the blue team and their assorted goons are... Oh, by the way, yeah, I got a message for the blue team. Everybody in Victoria Police, you got to listen to this, okay? Every single time that there is um, a massive imposition of tyranny on the reign of terror and communist Russia style and Nazi Germany style of tyranny imposition, guess what they do to all the police just before they do this? They get rid of them all. Yep. That's a message for everybody, including the police. You're all going to get the sack soon. Okay? Some of you are actually going to end up in prison. And this 60 Minutes special that I posted on my Facebook page just, you know, a day or two ago is the start of it. And... I'm as much for anyone as anyone for saying, "Hooray, less police! Yay!" I've been hammered. I don't like them. I hate them. But every single time that the goons who are really in charge impose grade one tyranny, just before they do that, they sack all the police. Every single time. It happened in the reign of terror. It happened in communist Russia. And it happened in Nazi Germany. So you police, when you lose your jobs, don't come crawling to the rest of us looking for the rest of us to somehow support you because that ain't going to happen. And they think that it's going to go down the next time, like it went down every other time, where they sack all the police and then 
chaos and mayhem erupts. Guess what? I don't think chaos and mayhem is going to erupt this time. Because we know who you are. We know all about you now. You government evil people who are really in charge. I'm not even talking about the state politicians or the federal politicians. They're all puppets on strings as well. They often get deposed as well. That's how they do it. That's their business model. And if you reject jerks that take some time to study history instead of just thinking about who you can screw over the next time, you'd see it. Because they're not very smart. They only have basically one business model and they just play the same business model over and over and over and over and over and over again. And they don't have any new ideas. They've been doing the same stuff for centuries. Centuries. So you see what's happening now. They're planning to do the same thing that they did, uh, like I said, Nazi Germany and communist Russia and the Boer War, the reign of terror, yada 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 yada. Every single time it's the same. And you know, around about the same time, or maybe just before, one of the final jobs that the police will get given to do, just before they get given the sack, is that they will get given the job of uh, rounding up the dissidents, okay? That's the troublemakers. So, God has told me that he's always going to give me my life as a prize in all places where I go, wherever I go, okay? And as a reincarnated pirate and highwayman, highwaywoman, that particular little phrase means something pretty special. It means that my life, I'm going to uh, have the wits to be able to preserve my own life. That people are going to, or <laughs> even in my life already, people have tried to take my life from me many, many, many times and they've always failed. I'm not immortal. I am immortal flesh and blood human being but I can tell you this my life will be given to me as a prize in every place that I go that's Jeremiah chapter 45 verse 5 that's what God promised me and the whole rest of the, the chapter as well is relevant to me because I would dearly love to be a famous writer. And somehow I don't think that that's going to happen. But I still write and I still broadcast and I still produce because I'm a scribe and that's what I do. <laughs> um, yeah. So <laughs> it's, it's like trying to tell a greyhound or a horse not to run. You, you can do that all you want, but it's not going to happen. Anyway, um, that's, that's it. That's what they do. They get the cops as their final job to go and round up all the dissidents and, in their eyes, troublemakers. So think of who that would be locally. Ain't going to happen with me. Because God will warn me. And you'll come here and I won't be here. Because God will warn me that you're coming. And I will be somewhere else. And I think that to come and get me would be, a, to try and come and get me would be a very stupid thing to do. <laughs> because I've, I've actually emailed the Victoria Police this message. So I'm going to say it publicly on air for all of you out there. Okay. It's better that you know where I am than you know where I ain't. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I've been posting YouTube videos about the Victoria Police. They're a bunch of violent bastards. They really, really are. You know, 
Um, you, yeah, 60 minutes did a special, but that special even, everything that you see is designed for something. Okay? So if you get a message saying, oh, the police are bad, mean, horrible, part of me goes, yay, woohoo, we all knew it. Who's, who knew? Wow. And part of me goes, uh-oh, next phase of attack. It's coming. Watch the track. Watch what's coming down the track. And I'll tell you how it went down in Nazi Germany and in Hungary and in Austria and in Poland. They, and also in an earlier generation, this exact same thing happened with the Bolsheviks, okay? They got the police or whatever organization served that function. They got them to round up all the dissidents and put them in camps or line them up against a wall and shoot them or whatever. And what happened was afterwards the next layer of people that was going to come in and take over from the police, whatever group they were, like the Gestapo, or brown shirts, or whatever they were, they would come in immediately after the police had shot the dissidents or put them on trains to you know, go to gas chambers or whatever, and they would immediately shoot the police in the head. That's the playbook that these guys operate by. That's what they do. They're not very smart. They've only got one or a few programs that they know. They keep doing the same thing over and over again. So all of us regular humans who have creativity can figure out what to do. And if you're tuned into God, if he doesn't mean for you to go and have a white robe and be under his altar in heaven, which there will be some who will be killed, that's a blessed honour. To be killed for the son of righteousness is a blessed honour because you just won't give up on him. But, you know, if you are one that is selected to survive and continue, then, oh my gosh, all you have to do is not be there. And to have a skill set that enables you to not be there. Okay? That's all you have to do. It's not hard. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's almost time for me to wind up this video now. That's, I, I don't want any of this to happen. I just want to have a peaceful life. But mate, we got tyranny here in Victoria right now. We've got absolute full on tyranny of the likes that are only seen in a few places in the whole world. We've got guys getting their arms ripped out of their sockets. We've got guys getting their necks broken in their front yard for just having the stereo up too loud. That can't continue. There has to be a kickback. And yeah, so that's, that's just how it is. Um, but like I say, the Victoria police think that they're going to be okay. I've got news for you. You're not going to be okay. Your masters are going to betray you. See you later.